Hi everyone, I wanted to make a video here to show you the basics of buying and selling stocks or ETFs on the Thinkorswim platform. Um, Thinkorswim is the desktop version or desktop application for TD Ameritrade. Um, I like it, it's uh, very handy and useful and that's why I wanted to show you the basics of buying and selling on here so you can take advantage of it. So this is the generic home screen, now I'm in a simulated trading account so there's an nothing actually happened except for a cancel order on a uh, testing the video a little bit earlier but when you log in um, you'll see your summary there but you can go to monitor and by default your activity and positions and you can see current working orders filled orders etc just by expanding there and over here your overall profit and loss for you to date so for trading excuse me jump right into the trading tab this is where you're going to enter your ticker so if we want to do tqqq or Soxel or Tekel, and we'll go with Tekel here. Um, that'll load that up. Now, this is uh, on the weekend, so there's no trading, but normally during market hours, of course, you'd have your bid and ask there, uh, your size, uh, and open high and low. So basically, you're just going to click in through there, um, your ticker, and at this point, if you wanted to buy, you click on ask, want to sell, click on bid. Now, that's only one way to, to do it. Um, it's a little bit confusing between bid and ask, so the, the easy visual check is if we're going to be buying, we want to see green. If we want to be selling, we're going to see pink. So in this case, we're going to buy some shares or pretend to buy. Uh, so we're green. Now, the other thing, of course, is you will see the literal English word here, buy or sell, and, of course, color changing as appropriate. So again, we're going to buy. Now, this section right here is where you would put in your uh, number of shares. Uh, one interesting little tidbit is that you can actually modify this. So you could say, oh, I want to do it based on, if you click through, it'll cycle through, I actually want to buy $500 worth, for example. Excuse me. Or if you want to do percentage, it's going to be a percentage of your position. So if you say, I want to increase my position 10%. Now, one thing to note, you see this red uh, error that's popping up here. This is because up here, the accounts that it's showing is actually a summary of two underlying accounts. So if we pick our margin account. So we're going to pick up some Tekel shares for our long-term stock index compounding, which you hopefully have learned a lot about in my other video. Um, but we could flip over here to, I'll just do number of shares. Let's say we're going to pick up 200 shares. Um, your price would be loaded here now in, in normal trading hours. This would be adjusting or moving along with the uh, ask in this case. You can lock it if you don't want to see it move and you just want to put in a fixed price um, but you unlock it's going to toggle along with the current market your order type is going to be here um, as you can see you've got market order meaning you're just going to accept the current bid and ask spread uh, limit you're going to pick a, a certain price basically and, and either that or better um, there's a few other things stop trailing stop uh, moc is market on close um, but we're just going to do a limit order and normally for stock indexes, you don't have to worry too much about the bid-ask spread. Tekel is a little bit, uh, just a tiny bit less liquid, so the bid-ask spread is a little bit uh, bigger. So what it's showing you here is the mid. So in other words, if you had just hypothetically 10 and 20 was the bid and ask, this mid would be like 15, and this would be 20. Um, in this case, uh, it's, it's got kind of a, a huge spread because it's not a realistic, it's a close bid-ask. But what you can do is just sort of click on here and drag um, and then normally for most of my entries if there's a little bit of a spread I'll just click the difference here and what we're basically saying is we're gonna um, go slightly above well three quarters basically between the bid and ask so you're giving up some of the market maker on the other hand you, you generally get filled and, and save yourself a few pennies uh, times the number of shares so at that point we would have our order ready um, Click confirm and it'll pop this up here, which is your order confirmation dialog. Generally, a good thing to double check what's going on. Uh, you know, what is this going to do uh, in terms of your buying power? Uh, buying power. So, this would be 16,000 to be buying uh, 200 uh, Tekel. Um, now, actually, I took it back 33,000. Uh, they're doing a buying power effect, which would be uh, adding in margin on there. Um, and what's your account so forth so you really don't have to do too much the main thing is you want to make sure if you're buying you're seeing green and it's got buy so buy 200 tekel we're going to do a limit because we're trying to cut just a little bit off that bid ask spread and go ahead and click send uh, at that point it will show up down here at the bottom um, in this case it's working because 
the market to close, so it's not actually going to fill. Um, one thing I do want to show you is, let's just pretend we're going to buy some TQQ. There, click ask. The time uh, that the order is uh, valid. Now, again, for things like stock indexes, uh, you're generally going to be filled fast because they're very, very liquid. Uh, but if it's a stock where, uh, and, and or if you're trying to pick up stock indexes on a dip and you want a specific thing, um, if you put in a day order, it will expire literally at the end of the day, and it will only let you put it in during market hours, um, or be active, I should say. You can put it in, but it won't actually be active until the, the next open. Um, so GTC is good till canceled, so that would persist, if you will, multiple days until it's filled. Um, and... Uh, Extended hours would be specific to uh, after hours trading or pre-market trading uh, and so forth. Um, so that's just the general time frame and how you can adjust uh, if you do want to be purchasing, for example, stock in after hours, you would need to specify the, the EXT. Um, normally I'm just using day because, again, most of my focus is on stock indexes, so I'm just picking up shares uh, on, on dips especially. So that's the quick summary of how to do it. As I mentioned, this is the option stuff. Maybe we'll do a different video on that. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's a, a very straightforward process. Uh, the one little thing over here, you've got a bunch of, uh, it's like a TV and random news and all kinds of stuff. Um, it's kind of helpful to know that you can just click on this little thing here, delete that out. Uh, oops, sorry, one up here. And delete that. Um, you can also make a um, little quick chart. I'm not sure why it's loading there. Uh, watch this can be a little bit helpful. Um, if you drop this down here, you should have the option. There we go. Create watch list. So if we want to call this best stock indexes. Add a symbol. So we'll go tackle. Let's add oops T Q Q Q and U Pro. Oops, socks. So you get the idea, but you can put uh, your favorite things there, uh, and it'll keep that going there just to have that handy. So, but for the most part, it's pretty much a straightforward process. Again, green is buy, pink is sell. Um, if you click down here, you'll have your orders that are in play. Uh, if you move over here, if you wanted to cancel, you can click that little three hamburger lines, I guess they call it, uh, there, and you can put in to cancel the order. Um, and it, or adjust if you wanted to adjust it. For example, if you are trying to save a little bit on the spread and it's not filling, you can simply adjust at that point. So that's pretty much it. I think it's fairly straightforward uh, and hope that helps you with your investments and I will see you in the next video.